everyone welcome to the Begin Invested channel for a new tutorial today we're going to talk about to how to build a screener with the RSI indicator so to begin to clarify things I'm talking about a trend following screener I'm talking about building a screener that will spot either bullish or bearish trends and help you position yourself to catch the best trends so we're going to talk about the RSI indicator in the way to view trends and how do trends work with the RSI how do you see trends with the RSI so I have below my my chart it's the brave new Coin liquid index it's the the Bitcoin price with as much history as you can get you can see it goes back all the way to 2010 and it's the RSI 14 it's the standard RSI on 14 and this is how you would have it if you put it to your chart so in the first part in this first video we're going to talk about how to use RSI to view trends and in the second video I will release on Friday we're going to talk about how to build your screener according to the way RSI works hope you're following me hope I'm clear if you are not clear please don't mind asking your questions in the comments I will gladly answer them and if you have things you want to add about this video you can always enter in the comments thank you so much so let's get let, let's get to it RSI is uh, momentum indicator it means it's you could really see it as the speed of the trend I see it really this way it's the speed of the trend when the RSI is very high it means the trend is going very fast to the upside when it's very when it's at the lowest it means the trend is going very fast and the downside you can also use bullish divergences and all that stuff but we're not going to talk about that for trend following for spotting trends you need to see for example you have this trend right there on Bitcoin and you want to know how does a trend behave how do you see if you're in a bullish trend with the RSI or if you're in a bearish trend or if you're in a range market most of the time you're gonna see the RSI plot this way but it's incomplete people are spreading fake uh, advices where they they tell you to short when it's at 100 and to long when it's slow it's not how I think you would use RSI for screening. Like you're not going to screen for all the asset, all the assets with an RSI above 90 and short all the assets. Maybe that's a strategy that could work, but it's not what my video is going to be about. It's going to be about how to spot trends. You have on the RSI this 70 line and this 30 line that people call overbought and oversold. I think it's completely useless. I personally don't use it because it does not, it's not useful for my strategy. As I said, I'm not shorting things that are, have high momentum I'm trying to follow trends so what line I'm using is this 50 line and people who follow trends and who the pros who use the RSI if you see someone who uses the RSI and doesn't have this 50 line it means they probably are not very familiar with the RSI and they probably just saw it in a YouTube video like my like my videos and they, they watch the video and they think you know they're an expert this 50 line is called the neutral zone it's very easy to understand there are, the way the RSI is calculated it just does the average of um, of bullish candles and bearish candles when you have a majority of green candles the number goes up because there are more green candles than red candles that makes sense to you when there are more reds than uh, greens the indicator goes down and when there are as much greens as as much reds the indicator is at 50 I hope that makes sense to you right so if we're looking for consolidations like this for example you are gonna look for RSI around 50 and you can see that it matches so if you're a trend follower and you for example you have a chart like that and a consolidation like that and then a breakout you are looking for this right there same if you have a bearish trend and you have you know something like that consolidation and then boom it goes up again you're looking for something like that and how does it translate to the indicator well I'm gonna tell it to you right now it translates to the RSI moving around the neutral zone so I have made myself an RSI for myself that I will maybe share in future videos on the discord server that is not like this one is showing exactly the way I see the RSI so you can see 
I plot the neutral zone, this is the same indicator. Well, maybe this one is set to 21. No, it's set on 14, so it's absolutely the same, except it's not drawn the way with the overbought and oversold. It's drawn the way as the neutral zone. And you can see that when you see the RSI this way, you can see that as long as the asset is in the bull market, it ranges above the 50 movement. It's logic because they are in a bull trend. There is more green candles than there are red. So it will always be above 50. Remember 50 RSI means there are as much green candles that there are red candles. It's really, really that simple. It's not complicated. And what I want for my screening, we're going to zoom in on the weekly. You are looking for things that are in a consolidation. So how do you spot consolidation on RSI? It's not there you know when your move is very very high the rsi is very far from the 50 but when your move you have a strong consolidation for example you have strong consolidation here strong consolidation here strong consolidation here you would have a ranging rsi if it's the trend is bearish as there the trend is bearish you could see the rsi ranging around 72 50 and if the trend is bullish you would have an rsi ranging around 50 to 70. if the rsi is too high the trend is already developed too much and it's not consolidating really but if the rsi is around this place means that there could be a consolidation and an interesting one so i prepared other charts you know for you to see and you can see that right there you have the 50 range um, really useful for consolidations you have the example of Amazon that I thought I think is very interesting you see that for now we have a consolidation on Amazon and you can see that the weekly consolidation is really taking the RSI down and right now if we screen for an RSI I'm gonna draw it so you can understand perfectly right there boom this is the place I want my RSI to be to find a consolidation and then in my screener I will have this displayed and I will be able to say yeah I have this level if it breaks above I'm long hope that is clear to you this is really the way I use the RSI I know I don't use it as an overbought and oversold indicator because this is not my strategy I'm a trend following trader if you're, I don't know, a counter trend trader, if you're trying to short, you know, irrational moves, of course, this is gonna not the way you're gonna use the RSI. But as I'm saying again, this way to use the RSI is for trend following. And I'm gonna plot the monthly RSI on Amazon. And you can see that as long as we're in a steady bullish trend, you know, with very low volatility, what does low volatility? It means that the trend is not choppy, you know, it does not move like that. It's very straight and beautiful line the rsi here stays above this 50 range and you can screen for assets with an rsi above their 50 range to screen for assets with their uh, being a, in a bull market that makes sense to you right so uh, i think that's all i need to say right now for uh, how i see the rsi for trend following and in the next video we're gonna see how to program and set your screener to have uh, your RSI screener and you can see this is going to be very simple hope you're gonna like the video please if you want to see the next video subscribe and maybe turn notification bells to be notified for the next video uh, I didn't want this video to be too long so I'm spreading in two parts hope you don't mind that I spread the information into two different videos thank you so much for watching the video hope you gathered some useful information please tell me what you think in the comments uh, of course this is not investment advice don't buy anything just based on rsi signal please don't make myself responsible for you buying something for seeing the rsi or there at 50 or 70 or i don't know and yeah protect your capital uh, keep learning and subscribe to the channel thank you so much goodbye